One of the first things you'll notice when you launch Photoshop CS4 is that it looks a little bit different. They've really gone over this build and they've made a bunch of changes to the interface and I really like them. What we've got, the first thing you'll see is this thing called an application window on a Mac. And notice that the whole thing moves around together inside one window. We don't see the holes through there. And this is optional. If you don't like it, you can always just go up under window here. And you can change it just by turning off the application frame. And notice everything will jump around back to how it was. And let's just turn that back on and we'll go there. Now this option is not available on Windows because Windows always performs this way. Another thing you're going to see is we've got these tabbed panels up here. We can click on these little tabs and we can view different images. Now we can view them in different types of ways. If we want we can drag an image out like that and now it'll float just like it did before. And we can drag it back into the bar and notice that it snaps right in there. So this is a great way of avoiding that mess that you get when you have images all over the place. I know personally I have that quite a lot. Um, let's have a look at other things we can do. We can control these windows in different ways. Notice we have this thing is called N up displays. And so I can click four up if I want. All I need to do is open that and click. And notice now that I have one window here and then I have the other three. We can change that. We could go vertical. We can just split two horizontal. You'll notice there's a lot of different ways of doing these windows. We can do four which is really only showing three right now, but that's okay. And we can do this one here. So we've got a lot of different options. The other thing we can do is say, for example, I just hit control a one to zoom into 100%. What I can do now that I've done that is I can go in here and I can choose to match zoom and location on the other images. Let's just match the zoom actually. And now they all zoom into that 100% view. By the way, to close a window like I did before, just click there and then hit Control W. And then that window will just be gone. Another thing we can do too is if we want, we can just choose Float All Windows and now the windows will just float just like they did before. Of course, we still have the application going. You can turn that off if you want. But notice as we drag one into the other, we can drag them around in little groups. Or just drag it to the top, see the blue, and then release. And then once again, we're back to those tab documents again. I really love this behavior. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit there. Another thing you'll notice is we've got enhanced workspaces here. And you can see we could just choose different ones and then choose choose those and then we'll just jump in there. The panels have been a little bit redesigned. They sort of work how they used to. We can just click once to expand it. Click once again to contract them. We can double click to collapse the group there or double click to open it again. What's really nice about this though is that we can drag any of these out onto the stage here. And we can just drag other ones here and we can make our own little groups. And we can drag these around at any time. We can collapse them, get them out of the way, or just go back and as soon as they turn blue again, they're just going to dock once again. So you can see we've got a lot of control here over our panels. And you probably also noticed when I was moving that you saw the new adjustments panel. Well, we'll get to that really soon. Right now, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at the workspace. Another thing you'll see here is the application bar at the top. We can launch Bridge here. We can look at our extras, you know, things like rulers, guides, and grids, things like that that we like to turn on and off. We can change our zoom level here. Here's our hand tool. And we'll get our zoom and then our canvas rotate. And we looked at these, and then once again, here's our screen mode now. This is the same as hitting the F key. So we can go full screen with menu bar, or standard screen mode, which is where we are now, or full screen mode. But let me just hit the little cancel key because this will make it a little too big. But we can do the same thing just by hitting the F key. Just like we did in the past. So there we go. That gives you a little bit of a feel of the new interface.